Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Five more. Not phenomenally months. amazing. Anytime, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I want to congratulate you. I, I thoroughly loved this film. I mean, really, it just doesn't stop from beginning to end. I want to ask you, I mean, after making now the third one, how do you, in your own mind, you know, yes, there's new material, but how do you keep it fresh for yourself, fresh and fun, you know? Um, well, this always, I guess, the new script helps. <laughs> um, I mean, this one's, com each one has a, has a massively different uh, environment for me. For one thing, there's a different director who's really different to the the first two. and um, But just being able to interact with a whole bunch of new characters makes it a completely different experience for me because I mean, I'm almost exclusively with doing scenes with Kristen. Mm -hmm. um, and having, we have like, me and, and Taylor have a proper, uh, have a proper relationship in this one, um, which definitely, uh, can, changes my whole experience of it. Yeah. And working with, I was, I was asked, talking to Kristen about it, because it must be really great that the three of you had so much interaction mm -hmm. on set together, and, and it must have been, you know, it was becoming such good friends, too. It must have been fun for you to be able to do that. Definitely, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's weird how people have remained friends, especially as it's got bigger. I mean, it's, you hear so many horror stories about, you know, people becoming famous and stuff, and then they just turn into these monsters. And, like, no one really has out of the cast at all. And I think it's, I don't know, it's weird. Everyone's still stayed relatively grounded and stuff. Um, well, you have each other to kind of, you know, this is a huge fan base, you know, like yeah. as we know, right? So you're all in the trenches together, and I think that probably helps, don't you think? Yeah, I think people, because you are quite vulnerable with when things become really big, and so I think everyone's sort of instinctively just sort of stuck together to kind of support each other. Um, so you have like a little a little team. So whenever anything bad happens, like you kind of know that the rest of the cast is is there for you, however cheesy that sounds. Yeah, um, I I just have to know. You know, there's so much serious stuff going on, and this one I love because there's some funny lines and stuff. But how do you guys keep straight faces? Seriously, I, you know, I don't know how I would not. You're doing this serious stuff with Taylor, and then you just probably want to burst into laughter. Is you put those contact lenses in, you're in a bad mood all day. <laughs> I mean, I've like, got no problem being in a bad mood. <laughs> like, I can imagine. But, but you probably need that release to start laughing and do some fun stuff. No, you do. I mean, it's it's sort of with. Uh, it, it is always. All the scenes with Taylor, I always do find them pretty funny. I mean, like, just trying to be all macho with other people, especially when he has a shirt off or when he's in, like, a spandex wolf suit. Like, <laughs> I mean, it is always. It's very fun to. to um, He's he's very vulnerable to uh, sarcasm, um, <laughs> the, um, because of his 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 nudity, yeah. his frequent nudity. Come on, you're jealous of that spandex suit. Come on, you want to wear <laughs> I would, it? I, I literally I have offered to wear it for him whenever I'm just doing off camera stuff for him. <laughs> <I'll> just say <laughs> that seriously, I wear like a yellow one. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll see pictures of you in that soon. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> congratulations on that on this movie. It's very very good. Cool. Great Thanks job. Thank you. Thank you.